it's been a tough week no kasi for the past days and weeks nung sumabog ang COVID-19 or coronavirus whatever they call them uh, it affects everyone's life now of course hindi isolated ang Canada for this virus for this epidemic so probably you, you may want to know anong nangyayari sa Canada how effective the government of Canada of containing this and treating this problem and solving it as much as they can okay let me tell you some of those observations that we found and then some tips na rin para sa inyo na nasa Pilipinas nasa UAE nasa ibang bansa kasi hindi na ito for a specific country this is everywhere already in our planet so let me show you a glimpse of what's happening here in Canada from our perspective and then probably you may want to compare it to what's happening there with you and I will tell you it's just about the same Hey, kamusta? Mr. Barrot here and uh, I just want to say first thank you and and uh, pinaka importante sa lahat is stay well kasi if, if you can see dito ako sa bahay and I brought in some work okay I brought in some work para dito ko trabawin sa bahay mga plano na kailangan kong i-design remotely uh, remotely from my colleagues hindi pa naman hindi pa naman kami sinabihan See, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my work. Hindi pa naman kami sarbihan to totally work from home. Pero good thing about my office for this kind of, of setup. Okay, naka-design naka yung aming, aming working environment that we can work remotely or especially of course pag nasa office kami. Kaya, and you know why, why am I doing this, right? Because of this COVID-19 virus that is all over the place, all over the planet. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, hindi lang sa UAE where, where we came from and where we stayed for 10 years. And of course, ito ni sa Canada, hindi ito na iba sa kalagayan yung ngayon. Alright, so bago ako magkwento about the perspective na nangyayari dito, yung nakikita lang namin, ha? I, I, cannot, I cannot talk about or I cannot represent other people, especially mga vloggers sa kagaya ko dito sa Canada that are living in other places. Pero... For sure, it's just gonna be the same. You know, halos pare-pareho lang eh. Kaya nakakakaba minsan. So again, bago ako magpatuloy, gusto kong pasalamatan yung mga subscribers, mga nag-views. I understand na talagang chaotic ngayon so far yung, yung mga nakapaligid sa atin. Nabalitaan ko sa Manila, nag-lockdown na. Ayaw nga nilang gamit yung lockdown kasi nakakapanik. Which is totoo naman, nakakatakot. Pero it's a community quarantine, gaya na sinabi ng President Duterte. So, stay put lang, kalma lang tayo, kasi everything will, will pass for sure. Uh, yun ang pinangahawakan din namin dito sa Canada, kasi this is not different from your situation at all. Alright, so again, maraming salamat sa mga subscribers for the past week since my last post. And then, thank you sa like and comments na nareceive ko. I think hindi pa ako nakareply sa mga comments na nareceive ko, so... Hold on, uh, I will sit down on that one, especially now na medyo, I think mas matagal ngayon na magiging time ko dito sa bahay kasi somehow we are being prepared to work from home remotely. Alright, so maraming salamat sa inyo ha, and again, uh, I will share with you now kung ano nangyari dito sa Ontario from our perspective kasi ito lang yung nakikita namin. Okay, and based sa mga news na narinig na rin namin dito sa bahay, uh, while we while we look at the online, while we look at social media, kung anong nangyayari sa paligid namin, I will tell you, para kahit pa paano, meron kayong idea of what's going on here, especially sa mga nagbabalak mga migrate sa Canada, para makita nyo kung ano yung capability ng country na to, to take care of their people, mapa work visa holder ka, student permit, immigrant or PR, and of course citizen. Alright, so I was supposed to post a video of a typical you know, yung perspective namin sa buhay Canada related to sa mga magmamigrate dito yung more, at least yung mga nagbabalak pero I thought of let me shoot this video first para i-remind everyone kasama din yung mga sarili namin dito sa Canada is to calm down 
Kasi, again, just recently, diniklare ng World Health Organization na this, this virus is now pandemic all over the world na. So, wala na sinisino. Ang masakit dito, walang mayaman, walang mahirap. Pag, na, pag nahawa ka, nahawa ka. That's it. And then you will wait for one year. At least one year. Kasi yung vaccine, somehow may mga nakaka-research na ng solution about it. So, again, Canada is not different from where you are. Okay, right now, I think it's 100 plus cases already. Some countries already thousand. So, in general, Canada is handling it very well. Kaya, there's no reason to panic. Alright? And again, yung panic issue is applicable sa lahat ng bansa. And for sure, all our governments are acting on it already para hindi kayo tayo, para hindi tayo maubusan ng, ng supply na pagkain, ng gamot, at kung ano-ano pa. So applicable yan sa Manila, dito sa Canada, and everywhere else. Okay, pero nakakalungkot kasi panic buying ang nakita namin this past few days, which we think is wrong. There's so many things going on, and the least you want is to do panic buying kasi it will have a chain reaction. May chain reaction hindi lang sa nalalapit sa'yo pero sa kabuuan. And if everyone is panic buying, problema. Okay, may problema. Kaya if you, if you tried panic buying, try not to do it again. Kasi I think this will last for a few more. I hope not. This will last for a few longer than what we are anticipating or our government is anticipating. Kaya don't do it. Don't do it. Unang-una, hindi dahil naapektuhan kami. Kasi, when you, ito, let's, let's explain it clearly kung bakit hindi dapat mag-panic buying. Kasi pa nag-panic buying ka, mag-iimpa ka ng marami. Which is sanay na sanay ang mga Western, Western countries for that. They have huge freezers in the basement. They, they, mag-iimpa sila, mag-hurt sila ng mga, ng mga produkto, ng mga goods. Which is more than what they need. Now, sino ngayon ang mauubusan? Paano yung mga galing sa trabaho? Yung mga tipong gabi lang makakapamalengke, makakapag-grocery. Wala na silang aabutan. Kasi hinort na. Or nag-imbak na. Nag-over-storage over na. Nag-over-storing na yung iba. Paano naman yung pangailangan lang kailangan nila, hindi pa nila makuha. Okay? Masakit sabihin na selfish ang nangyari pero sa, kasi nga instinct din ng tao yan pag may ganitong situation pero sana wag naman sana lawakan natin ang pag-iisip natin of try to share the goods try to share the sources with others din kasi hindi lang ikaw ang tao sa mga tao kaya iniiwasan kaya sinasabi ng government natin na don't do panic buying kasi it is wrong it will make imbalance and again, kaya ka nang panic buying kasi natatakot ang maubusan the government is already telling us na may supply. I think lahat ng government is doing that. Wala pa namang kinapos. And the government, since they knew it way ahead so far, pinaghandaan na nila. Kaya huwag kayong panic buying. May mga paparating na supply. Kailangan natin distribute evenly. Okay? Nakakalungkot. Kasi unang-una, sumahod lang ako or kami ni, ni Ms. Barurot this past few days. So we can only buy our groceries on a weekend. Nagkataon yun yung time na, na nag-close yung mga eskwela dito. Yung March break. March break dun yung nagbabakasyon yung mga bata in the middle of this semester. So on March break, sahod, and then dineclare na pandemic. So nag-panic buying. Nagkaroon ng a little chaos. So lahat ngayon nag board talaga. So kami, nag na kami ng sahod. And then... We just do our normal groceries kasi nag grocery kami in for good for two weeks. Especially yung gulay is good for one week. So we can only store yung gulay sa, sa freezers for one week and then the rest, grocery ng gulay. Pero yung mga meat, nag-store nag kami for two, three weeks. Dalawa lang naman kami ng meat para urot. So hindi ganun karami yon. So ganun talaga kami mag-grocery. Mag and now, nahuli kami. Kasi... We can only we can only do the grocery after office hours. How about yung mga madami ako narinig maagang umuwi para lang magpanic buy. So in short, wala kami nabili do sa mga kailangan namin na alam namin yung iba is nag-overbuy. Kailangan din namin yan. <laughs> okay, kailangan din namin yan. Pero here you are, you're storing it for, for a reason na hindi naman dapat. I think and I am sure applicable yan sa lahat na si lahat ng bansa where we are having the same problem. Huwag naman, nakakalungkot. 
you know what? What we what we want to do is just pray. Sabi nga nung hashtag na ginawa ni Miss Barot on one of her one of her posts. Hoard less, pray more. Okay, hoard less, pray more. Kasi you're losing your faith already that, that this thing will also pass. Madami na nangyari in, uh, in the history of the world na may ganito. Oo, mas lalo ngayon, high-tech na tayo. So, we should not be worried too much. Okay, kasi dito may mga cases na na-account na. Uh, sa news, yan, lahat ng mga company dito nag issue na ng policy of of don't do non-essential travels or special international and then social distancing nandiyan na yan, naririnig nyo na yan for sure and then yun yung mga symptoms kailangan mong tingnan nakakalukot nga pati yung mga MISA kinakancel nila or everything is being affected kung mo mga biyahe ng tren biyahe ng aeroplano yung mga hotel, mga restaurant at least yung grocery pharmacy hindi pa sila required magsara pero in a worst case scenario, that's possible also. Kaya, we need to think properly, think bigger, and i-consider nyo yung ibang tao na was not able to do what you've done, and knowing na yung what you've done already is unnecessary. Nakakalungkot isipin. Again, pray more. Hoard less, pray more. Okay? So, yun. And for people na nagpa-plan mag-migrate dito, Yes, the government can handle this properly. Okay, and again, I think it's gonna be subjective anyway to those people who can't in detail. Okay, pero for me in general, I think it's okay. And uh, hindi ito, the situation namin for sure is gonna be different from others also. Okay, na nakikitira lang. Good thing, you know what? We transferred here in our new home in Hamilton. Na kami lang, na dati kami naka-apartment, it's perfect timing kasi hindi na kami may share ng laundry, hindi na kami may share ng corridor, which is uh, mas, mas vulnerable sa hawa kung sakali man na may sakit yung kasama namin sa apartment, di ba? So, yeah, everything is going smooth and good so far dito sa amin ni Mrs. Barot. And I hope you, especially if you're here in Canada, stay well, stay safe, and be cautious and maging vigilant doon sa pangatawan. And for all those na mga nasa Pilipinas, mga subscribers sa Pilipinas, sa UAE, I think it's getting much worse also. So, be prepared and stay well. Okay? Take note, maging aware kayo sa balita para alam niyo yung pangyayari. And I think it's a good time also. Ah, eto na. It's a good time also to basically go through my playlist. <laughs> Plugging, ano? Go to my playlist and then check. Especially sa mga nagpa-plano mag-migrate. May mga taong uh, nanonood ng videos ko uh, telling uh, more vlogs or more videos. I already did. Okay, I, or, I already did that. I already have 30, 40 plus videos about Buhay Canada, some are engineering, some are Catholicism, Pinoy Catholicism. So you might want to check that out. And this is the good time to stay at home, have a marathon. Tapos pag nag-activate na ulit, pag okay na, then you can, you can do what you have to do, right? You can do your actions and then even I, I think this is the perfect time for me to respond to your comments and emails, by the way. I'm, I'm putting my email address at the end of this video para meron kayong specific question. Uh, pag nasan nyo na makaupo, maka makaspend ako ng time kasi hindi ako sumasagot na yes no lang. I explain, alam ng mga na-reply ko yan. I explain so much in detail and sometimes I'm asking them questions para may follow-up conversation kami sa email. So from here, in Canada, Ontario, Hamilton to be specific, medyo may mga cases na kami sa Hamilton. Very few pa lang. And take note ah, yung case namin dito, around 100 plus already I think, uh, we are the second largest country. <laughs> Kaya, masya, somehow mahirap i-contain pero since marunong government namin to, to handle the situation so far, uh, kahit, may, kahit may sakit na yung asawa ng Prime Minister namin, they were handling it as calm as possible. Kaya, for all the Canadians, uh, Pinoy Canadians uh, subscribers ko na nanonood nito, stay calm, stay well. Ganon din sa mga Pinoy, wala magagawa ang pagpapanik. Pag nagpanik ka, yung brain cells mo naglalabo-labo, lalo kang dimakaisip na maayos. Kalma so you can think properly and don't panic. So, yun lang kaya ako gumawa ng video ng mga makes I think, sana maigsi ito. Ano? 
Uh, kaya ako gumawa nito kasi just to remind you lang na uh, Canada is the same. Canada is experiencing the same experience that every other country is experiencing now regarding the virus. And everyone, each country now, is trying to contain the virus as much as they can and treat it from there para hindi na kumala. And so, uh, the situation hopefully will end soon uh, and will everything will be back to normal. Alright, so, salamat sa inyo and I hope, I hope you stay well. You hope you stay well, uh, you stay good, you stay safe. And relax ka muna sa bahay. Sabi ng President, President Duterte, maraming kang makikita sa bahay mo hindi mo alam na nandiyan pala sa bahay mo kasi hindi ka nag-stay sa bahay. So this is the perfect time to stay at home, watch YouTube, uh, spend time with your family. So from here at Mr. Barurot's house, uh, together with Ms. Barurot, which is andalas sa baba, <laughs> sa, sa living room, uh, I want you to stay safe so I can see you on the next video. Thank you.